Is the Essentials Fear of God Core Collection hoodie worth it? In this video, we're gonna figure that one out. Hey everybody, I'm Actors, and welcome back to the Yoni channel and YouTube that covers in-depth videos of cars and sneakers. And today, we're gonna be going over these bad boys. Or should I say this bad boy because we're not doing a pair of sneakers this uh, time around because, you know, I like to spice things up a little bit and this month is kind of slow in sneaker drops. Doesn't matter because you guys also like to see t-shirts and hoodies on this channel. So before we get into this hoodie, be sure to like and share for that YouTube algorithm as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. So let's get right into it. All right, first off, uh, I'm going to talk about the bag of this thing. Now, this is pretty cool. Uh, so basically, this, this uh, hoodie comes in this kind of zip log plastic bag here, but it's kind of like a good feeling plastic, if that makes any sense. It's not like your cheap shitty plastic it's kind of a nicer plastic and it says essentials fear of god and it kind of gives this you know hoodie a bit of a premium feel i mean it is just regular street wear but it's kind of it kind of feels a little special that comes in this nice plastic bag opening this thing up and we're going to remove the hoodie Whew. and here is all the it's all the fuss about and holy crap this is a size l and this feels huge so yeah, this is a, a size L hoodie, and this thing is is kind of really big, bigger than I thought. I think this might fit oversize. I think that's what they were trying to go for here. God damn, I feel like I'm holding one of those easy cap uh, hoodies. Gonna have it like slung over my shoulder here. <laughs> the hoodie's just chilling out with me, anyways. Here is the hoodie. So the color of this hoodie is like a, a lighter gray. These hoodies come in a bunch of different like light gray, light beige colors and stuff. This one is more like a light. Uh, gray tone really nice covers the majority of the hoodie one thing I can already tell you that the quality of this hoodie seems really really nice like it feels really soft it looks like it was well stitched together and everything it's nice to see that when you spend a lot of money you get good quality <coughs> bait anyways anyways this hoodie has kind of a little pouch in the front here so you can store all your goodies on the top corner of the hoodie it says essentials fear of God and I'm not sure this hoodie came with strings, but there's two holes right there if you want to put some strings in there. The hoodie itself seems really nice as well. Got a seam coming down the back of it, so it gives good shape when you're wearing it. On the top of the hoodie too, it even says essentials right there, put on a little plastic plaque. Here's a little close up so you guys can see what that looks like. Really, really nice. I really like this hoodie. Really, really nice. You know, when I first got this hoodie, I was like, why are people going crazy over it? It's really plain and basic, but the, the more I have it on hand, the more I realize what the fuss is about. This is actually a really nice hoodie. I don't know what about it. It must have like some sort of magical powers or something, but it's pretty cool. Another thing to mention that I almost forgot is on the left sleeve, there's another logo that says Essentials Fear God. The back of the hoodie, not a lot going on, just plain. I think, yeah, nothing, nothing really going on. I really like how you can see like these uh, defined stitch points for the hoodie. Like for the arms, you can see a big seam on the side right here with some stitching. Around the hoodie, you get that kind of look as well. Nice seams going across. Makes it feel a lot more premium. Once again, you can see the seams going down the sides as well. Really well put together hoodie, man. Inside the hoodie, we can see the tag. It's got that stock X tag right there, but I bet people will still comment that this hoodie is fake because that's what people on YouTube like to do when they see nice stuff. We see that Essentials Fear of God logo right there. We see the Essentials Fear of God logo right there. It also really nicely printed on too. It's printed on like a really nice screen printed plastic. And then we have the sizing tag right there. It is a size large made in Vietnam. On the bottom of this hoodie, you can see that kind of stretchy liner that kind of hugs uh, the hoodie onto you. Then inside the bottom, we see another tag. It's just, uh, I think this one is for, yeah, what it's made out of. And the size, once again, it's a large and it's made of 80% cotton and 20% polyester. And that's cool, it even tells you how to wash this thing, just in case you're wondering. Uh, wash with uh, cold water uh, with like colors. So I guess uh, pretty much just wash this with the same colors it has. I think it will bleed the colors a little bit. And then use non-chlorine bleach when needed. And then don't iron this thing, you wanna flat dry it. Which is kinda what I do with all my clothing already. But that's nice how they teach you how to wash these things, man. I remember uh, back in the day when I was buying Supreme and Bape, I was always Googling how to properly wash uh, the clothing. Then lastly, let's talk about the hang tag here. It's kind of put on by a pin with a little string. Here it is, it matches the hoodie as well. It even tells you what kind of hoodie it is. 
you know, essentials. Uh, oh, this came from uh, Essence. Interesting. It's also, it says exclusive tan on it. So I guess that's the official color for this, exclusive tan, which is more of a light gray in my opinion. All right, so I'm guessing you guys are all dying what it looks like on body, so I'm gonna get to that right now. Alrighty, so here's what the hoodie looks like on body. Uh, once again, this does fit very, very large. Normally I can fit a large hoodie. I'm mostly a medium, but sometimes I can snag myself in a large hoodie. This is pretty freaking huge. So if you wanna buy this hoodie, think about uh, sizing down a little bit because it definitely runs big. But yeah, here's what it looks like. Definitely has that oversized feel for sure. Uh, here's what the hood looks like a little bit. You know, I'm gonna have to crouch down so you guys can see a little bit. Yeah, but I really like the hoodie. Really nice uh, shape to it too. Take it off the hood. Turn it around now. Here's what it looks like from the back. And uh, yeah, and also it is pretty comfy too. You can definitely feel that it's uh, it's gonna keep you warm and you're gonna feel really cozy and it doesn't feel itchy or nothing. It's a really premium hoodie. Just runs really, really large. Also, if you want some styling tips for a hoodie, get some uh, gray jeans or something like that, you know, or some black jeans. I feel like that looks best with these. Uh, you could probably, you know, explore a bit, get some washed out uh, jeans as well. That pie also looks good, but I feel like uh, black jeans work best. Also, some sneaker recommendations of what to wear with this hoodie. Uh, I think the Georgetown Dunks will look really good with this kind of hoodie, as well as any easy foam or slide. I think that's why people are buying this uh, hoodie up a lot, is because it goes really well with those. But yeah, that's just my recommendation. Specifically, get a Yeezy slide or foam runner that will kind of match this hoodie. Or maybe change up the color a little bit, you know, go crazy, I don't really care. Now you guys seen the styling of this hoodie, now you guys see it on body time to talk about whether or not this hoodie is worth it. Um, yes and kind of no. Yes, the colors are really in right now, I really like the colors of this hoodie. It is a little bit more basic of a hoodie, not a whole lot going on. You mostly get it for really the craftsmanship and the color of it. And maybe a couple logos here and there. So if you guys were looking for something out there and crazy, this one's not it. This is more like a slick and solid premium hoodie. So on StockX, this hoodie is going for around the low 100s for pretty much all the sizes. And it retailed around $90, so it's not really going too much over retail. But uh, all in all, I would say for a nice, you know, slick premium hoodie, I would say that this is pretty worth it. But if you do, but if you still think, you know, this hoodie is too expensive, there's always, you know, probably cheaper alternatives that you can kind of go with, but you're kind of missing out on the nice, you know, quality and craftsmanship. And then lastly, because why not, if I had to score this hoodie between 1 and 10, I'd give it an 8. It is a pretty great hoodie. It is a little basic for my taste, so that's why it drops a few points, but the quality is there, the color is really nice, and it's pretty comfortable, man. And that's all there needs to be said about this hoodie. So the Essentials Fear of God Core Collection Hoodie. What do you guys think about it? Comment down below your opinion, like and share for that YouTube algorithm as well as subscribe. Any support would just be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next video.